photograph that is 50 by 60 is encountered typically in a museum. The only other kind of place that you would encounter art of that scale would be these kinds of advertising locations around the city. And so the opportunity to then insert something that doesn't ask maybe the same things of you as an advertising image does, something that maybe is mirroring back part of your daily life to you in a way that you might not typically see it. That was really exciting about the project for me. El Perez from Sun to Sun is the first exhibition in an ongoing series with JC Deco, which is a unique opportunity for us to present two solo photography exhibitions a year on bus shelters throughout all five boroughs. Public Art Fund has a long history of working with advertising spaces, most notably the Messages to the Public exhibition series from the 1980s, where Public Art Fund brought contemporary artists to the first digital billboard in Times Square. Advertising platforms such as bus shelters are at eye level for people to really engage with, for the messages to come across. So this way, the works are really becoming part of the daily fabric of the city. I grew up in the city. I grew up taking the train and taking the bus every day. And so thinking about what one encounters like on a daily basis became the conceptual grounding for the project like a piece of the sidewalk or the best seat on the B train that looks out the window or this handshake called The Flight that my friends and I grew up doing in the Bronx that was created by my friend Jay and that everyone in our community has now known how to do for almost like 20 years and the kind of like intimacy that that stands in for. And so I wanted to kind of look at that and then also simultaneously think about the practice of education. The people that I really wanted to highlight in this particular project were people who are part of the fabric of this city in a way that maybe doesn't always get celebrated, but requires a kind of daily showing up. We met when we were about 14 years old and have been friends since. So right now I'm a director of curriculum and instruction and I think what is so encouraging about and exciting about my work is that I get to work to decide what students in East Harlem from the Bronx learn and see in their classrooms every day. Teaching is the hardest job in the world. There just needs to be more of a public image of like teachers of color, black male educators, because there are so few, but the population of students that we serve is such an opposite. Adriana is my sister. I am an AmeriCorps Food Corps service member. I work with kids like Adam, and we work in the garden together. I teach garden education, nutrition classes, cooking classes, and I teach that quality food is a right that everybody deserves, and you know that it's not as far off to access it as people might think. I work with Miss Adriana to help build the garden and to like change the menu of the school lunch and to make other kids eat healthy. I've planted like sunflower seeds and cucumbers <laughs> and then the next thing I know my picture is up on the bus stops. <laughs> My students have been shocked <laughs> to walk by and see someone they see in their classroom every day on a bus poster. I knew exactly what classroom I wanted to take the picture in, and that's the room where global history is taught. And I think it's so important that my students not only understand the dynamics of this community, but they come from all over the world and can contribute to the globe as people who are, in some cases, living in the poorest congressional district in the country, in the wealthiest city in the world. Wanting them to see that like I cherish their education and that their education is cherished by people all over the city, it lifts up um, the work that they do every day. There is a conversation about school gardens and gardening in general in the city and this resurgence of it. And a lot of times you'll see a garden or you won't see people in it or you'll hear about it and you won't see the garden. So be able to see the picture and be like, oh yeah, like this is somebody working towards it. Like this is a student enjoying this work and doing it is really, really awesome. First I saw you and then I saw me. <laughs> Did you cry? Mommy cried. Mom cried, yeah. Mm -hmm. This project feels so impactful because you realize how little that kind of moment of identification has happened. 
and to be able to kind of have that come to you in a way and to have that be embedded into the daily life of the city is something that I very much cherish about this project.